today to welcome our local LGBTQ seniors who help pave the way for us all. South River Lodge LGBTQ and ally retirement community wants to proudly say love is love. In celebrating the 50th anniversary of Stonewall, many of the residents you see marching today with the Fountain Grove Lodge stood strong and began the fight for the rights that we share today. The Lodge really brought up a really interesting concept of what, what, what happens to the LGBTQ community when they become seniors, when they retire. Um, and it's not something I ever really thought about, but if I even look at my own family, you know, I have an aunt who is now living in an assisted living facility, and I never really thought about how she feels living there, you know, having, having never married, having never having children, which I just always assume was a choice of hers. But, you know, knowing the, knowing the, the people she grew up with, knowing the time she grew up in, she very easily could have been experiencing the same thing some of the women in this doc film we're experiencing about how they just were never able to come out and weren't able to really express that they were gay openly or put that title on themselves until moving into this senior living facility because of just their upbringing as it being this unacceptable thing and it, and it brought me back to my aunt and it made me wonder you know I wonder if that was her life you know not that she will probably announce it now if that has been her existence for so long but it, it 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 was I was like wow there are some people who have gone their whole life without fully living um the ideal life that they that they wanted I didn't realize it was this difficult for them to find a place to feel um at home and I really liked seeing all the various couples um, straight in and gay and just to kind of get a sense of how they felt being in this space where they're nearing the end of of their lifespan and seeing the others around them and then finding a a, a, a place to feel um, at ease and happy within their last uh, years of life um, it just showed the love the love stories the history um, you know, you see all these couples in these various stages, some mourning, some still happily married after 60 years, you know, some dealing with health issues. And it was great to know that this started a trend um, because, I, you know, the idea that you can't cohabitate as a man, a man or a woman, a woman in most of these uh, senior facilities didn't even cross my mind. And it just reminds me that, you know, there's so many things that people go through in life that if it's not your experience because you're not 60 plus yet or you're not, you know, homosexual, then you don't even think about it. And that's in everything that's racially, that's sexual orientation, that's gender wise. If it is not your experience, you don't have to think about it. And I never considered myself as privileged, but as, a, as someone young, who has not yet reached that level of life where I'm thinking about senior living, it is a privilege. It is not an everyday thing. Just in the same way someone who is maybe not Black doesn't have to think about my day-to-day -day struggles. I'm someone who's not gay, so I don't have to think about their day-to-day -day struggles, but it doesn't mean that I don't, I'm not empathetic because I have struggles on my own as well, but it's still not a nice reminder that, you know, hey, 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 there's other struggles going on that you may not be aware of. So, you know, make sure that you are doing whatever research you need to be more aware of it. I loved this film so much from the second that it started. First of all, I think it's an incredible subject for a documentary. I think you could make a documentary that's like two hours, three hours long about this. I loved how your... Um, perspective on it like the film was so joyful and it was so much about coming together and creating solace um, for these senior people and I think you know the message I took away was that like you know everyone at every age deserves to be 
respected and I think you know as we I thought it was really poignant when you said at one point that you know so many um elderly people um go back in the closet when it is time to move into like assisted living and I loved how this was sort of about being your whole self your whole life and not trying to not ever having to hide any part of yourself um I thought it was beautiful and fun and I thought it was just really great this was delightful for the most part it's great to see that uh, such a place exists and that people are taking full advantage of it and to hear their stories and you know how they started and where they came from it's all great it's just unfortunate that it even needs to be a thing but um i'm glad that it is because it there's a need for it um and also uh following that i'm glad that this piece exists just to help maybe bring more awareness to it there are, you know, maybe seniors out there that aren't aware of a place like the Lodge, um, and they should definitely be. So for that reason alone, I'm glad this one exists. And it's really, it's edited well. There's a good variety of uh, stories and people that we're talking to. Um, and again, I just thought it was delightful. Really good job, everyone involved. This documentary is so important because it's something I never thought about having to recloset yourself as a senior or having to rethink the entire life you've lived just to find safe housing, affordable housing, comfortable housing. So to get this out there for the lodge itself, but also just to kind of make a point about needing safe places, safe places for gay seniors, it's so important. Um, I each moment a new person was introduced, I marked them as a standout character because there are they're all so full of life and have these funny little quips and every single one of them was fantastic. Um, I did like uh, the first person we're introduced to and he goes, I'm a gorgeous 92 and a half. That cracked me up. Um, and then the woman in the um, meeting after one of the citizens passed um when she said just don't take off my shirt that's not a sight you want to see like using humor to cope with the situation um it was really funny um i just love that they have this place and i hope there are more spaces we can make um and i also really appreciated at the end their little pride parade which was so cute but the dykes on bikes with the walkers that was the absolute best it was a really good way to end because again it was just using the humor of the situation of being seniors but we're still out um and we're still happy and yeah it was just a lovely note to end on the lodge was very sweet um it was a very sweet documentary learning more about this um LGBTQ inclusive retirement home, um, especially because um, one of the things I've noticed is that uh, the inclusivity of LGBTQ plus gets more socially acceptable the younger you are. Um, a lot of older individuals still have that mindset that this isn't a positive thing. Uh, which makes it harder if you're a part of that generation and still a part of the community. Um, and it was very nice knowing that there was a place that was accepting of them. Uh, but it was also very interesting learning more about the politics of the place, learning, you know, uh, technically, uh, it's not solely for anyone who's a part of the community like if you're an ally or you know if you're hetero you can still uh live in the place however um you know the politics of just like there's a, that sensation that uh one day uh that might go away um and it might not be advertised as an lgbtq inclusive place anymore um learning more about like just the different historical well Honestly, with everything that's happened in the last few years, yeah, historical events <laughs> that happened uh, during the making of this documentary, it was all very interesting, and I, I very much enjoyed watching it. Uh, I thought that this one worked uh, on the basis of having a good variety of subjects, all of whom had their own uh, unique stories, their own unique views on the topics that they were being interviewed on and that the film was trying to discuss. Uh, the subject matter, I thought, was 
solidly covered, the coverage was quite thorough, uh, and it was something that a lot of people are probably not familiar with, the, the lodge here, uh, this location, things like that, the story behind it, uh, and the story behind the people there, uh, something that not many people know about, and something that uh, I think the film did a good job of letting the viewers in on. Um, subject matter here remains quite relevant, uh, and I thought the film did a really good job of painting this kind of bigger picture uh, by having all of the subjects in the film, or nearly all of the subjects in the film, being older people who have lived through the entirety of this ongoing period of uh, frequent and significant change for the LGBTQ community. Uh, it's a collection of interesting perspectives, uh, and it's thoroughly portrayed, well portrayed, uh, and all, all in all, uh, very well done. I really love The Lodge. Um, I am a sucker for a story about the elderly. And um, this is a very special story because it's about um, LGBT elderly and the fact that, you know, they were around when, you know, people weren't very accepting of the gay community and, you know, <laughs> those of them that are left, you know, a lot of them still are not very welcoming so they have to you know make their own safe space and they make this lodge and this this housing um which i've never thought about before i've never thought about that so i think this is a really great story to be to be told and you know they all have so many different stories and different perspectives and and you see the passing of of one of the members of the lodge and how that affects them and how they move forward and you know, how they still find joy within these situations and build their own community after the fact that they've been through so much and some have had to recloset themselves and, and come out again and just feel all of that. I mean, it just covers so much and there's so much joy. Um, you see so much joy through, through each of these individuals that it's just, it's really lovely to watch. Um, and I hope more people watch it. I, it was really lovely. Um, I could, like, if you doubled it, like, I could watch it again. It was really, I really liked it. Um, so very well done. <laughs>